The foundation of quantum physics is a phenomenon called wave-particle duality. Simply, all elementary particles, the building blocks of matter, are both particles and waves. This is fascinating, but also paradoxical. For instance, a particle can be represented as a single point in space. However, waves are different. Differently from a particle, waves exist in multiple points at the same time. After all, you could say the wave is here, but the wave is also here, there, and in every point that constitutes it. So if matter is both a particle and a wave, somehow it only exists in a single point in space, but at the same time in multiple points. How is that possible? The answer is fascinating. Matter does not have a definite position. Therefore, instead of being in just one or in many points at the same time, matter has a certain probability of being found in each point. However, this probability oscillates which means matter is more likely to be found in some points than in others. But watch what happens when we represent this in a graph. The shape of the probability distribution is the shape of a wave. This means that matter is not like sound or water waves. Instead, matter is a wave of probability. So you see, the position of matter is naturally uncertain. This means matter exists as a combination of all of its possible positions. This allows matter to exist in multiple points at the same time as a wave. However, if we measure where matter is, its position will no longer be uncertain. Therefore, while we are measuring it, matter only exists in a single point in space, as a particle. That is how the wave-particle duality is possible. Then, if nothing is measuring the position of matter, it will act as a wave. But while we are measuring it, matter will act as a particle. But the best part is that we can observe this phenomenon. I mean, literally, all you have to do is look around you. Your eye measures the exact position of light. Thus, while it is traveling through space, light is a wave. But the moment it reaches your eye, it is a particle. That is why if you were to look at separate rays of light, such as these, you'd see them as tiny points, particles, not waves. But quantum physics reveals much more than the nature of matter. It reveals just how breathtaking reality can be. And we can demonstrate that by playing bowling in a quantum level. Suppose this bowling ball is a proton and the pin is a neutron. If I throw the proton, but I do not measure the result, its position will be uncertain. But if that's the case, then the result of my play is also uncertain. After all, the pin could have been knocked down or not. The bowling ball will only have a definite position when we measure it. So until someone does that, the pin exists as a combination of both standing still and knock it down, which are its possible states. The pin is literally standing still and knock it down at the same time. It is just wonderful to realize such things are possible.